Well, it's time for a Mark Humble update. Yes, sir. The year-end wrap-up is what we're going to call this with the uh, Harker Heights High School Campus Athletic Coordinator. It's the proper title, I do believe. Is it? Uh, that's it. Or as I call you Mark? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or coach? Dan, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> Anything you believe for supper, right? That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What a year. What a year you had out of here. I tell you what, not just football, not just uh, baseball. Yeah. Not just basketball. Yeah. But a lot of sports. Yeah. Yeah. Another excellent year here at Harker Heights and wrapping it up. And, you know, really it's just a, uh, you know, a sign of, of uh, all the work that our coaches put in, the dedication and commitment of our student athletes and the work and the product they put on the field or the, or the court or the arena. Uh, and, and just a great way to wrap up the 2023-2024 school year, you know. And so super proud of our coaches and our kids. And now we kind of go into ending one chapter and, and starting summer and starting to begin that, that whole process again and starting off the new school year of 2024-2025. We'll talk about spring training kind of first here, okay. and then we'll get into the rest of the programs for the year. But uh, – how do you think spring ball went? I came out here once or twice, and y'all looked really good. Yeah. Uh, the discipline that I saw out there, uh, moving from station to station, uh, just the the intensity yeah. level out there was just phenomenal. Yeah. Well, really proud of our kids. You know that that process started all the way, you know, in late December, and then you know really amps up in January, and so that process of our strength and conditioning program. Uh, leading up to the spring ball uh, our kids were prepared the bigger stronger and faster so getting into the spring aspect of it uh, I'm super proud of our kids uh, their development uh, not only you know strength wise and physical wise but skill wise we're improved in all positions and it was a great time to establish depth uh, we were going to have some young guys have to fill in some roles and they were able to get valuable reps and so uh, that four weeks that we were able to get spring ball in, uh, super proud of our kids. Uh, we were able to establish that depth. Uh, everybody got uh, meaningful reps, game-like reps, uh, great stuff on film, uh, but most importantly, getting out of the spring healthy uh, and going into the summer, which will be a huge, crucial part for us June and July, uh, and just kind of springboarding us into the 2024 season. So overall, um, super pleased and happy with where we stand right now uh, ending spring ball you know we still have a lot of things to work on uh, but we accomplished everything we needed to do in, in that spring ball phase set the standard having you for the first two years you've got to set the standard with the first two classes on what next year's got to be like what that team has to be like because yeah. of what the first two were yeah and, and you know there's a there's a sense of comfort now being here at a year having a full off season having time to plan for a spring uh, the kids uh, realizing the purpose and the why we do things a certain way uh, same with our coaches the coaches having a year underneath their belt uh, ran smooth as can be and we got everything we needed to to do in spring uh, going into the summer and so super pleased uh, with our guys and now we add a you know the incoming class and the class of 2028 our eighth graders that will be ninth graders that will begin joining us in in the uh, summer and then uh, start forging you know that first freshman team uh, that will now join you know our 10th graders 11th graders and 12th graders so ongoing never-ending process that graduating in the 90s is starting to catch up with and you start talking about the class of 28 huh brother yeah yeah so it's uh you know, <laughs> you get our a little graduating older. seniors go out yeah you know it's always sad to see them go uh you know all that experience you know all those memories and those relationships but they're going on to bigger and better things and i'm super confident that they're prepared uh, for their next chapter in life i'm super proud of all the things that they have done but then on the flip side you know here comes a whole new class you know which was short four years short four years ago was that same class that's graduating on Saturday so uh, that never-ending cycle and I think that's what makes high school athletics and coaching special and, and it's exciting too yeah, yeah it is. you don't know what's going to pop up here oh look at that yeah it's exciting. hey coach you see that yeah so stuff like that yeah. that's great but all over Harker High High School success this year yeah. And it's been in, in, in almost every sport. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, getting into all of our sports, you know, starting the year off and kicking off with cross country and then going all the way down and ending with baseball, that closes it out. You know, of our 15 programs, uh, both boys and girls, you know, 11 uh, out of the 15 made the postseason. Uh, and so in, in a tough district and the biggest classification in, in, in uh, Texas and one of the hardest districts, in my opinion, 
Uh, we play great competition. Uh, Eleven teams that qualify for postseasons, awesome. We have three district champions. Uh, you know, in a tough district, uh, we had one first place finish. You know, wrestling doesn't do it by district, but our girls were first place, and so really four district champions. Um, out of all our sports, uh, we had over 132 first team all district earners. Um, you know, of all sports. Uh, track, we had 30 area qualifiers. Uh, both boys and girls qualify for uh, regionals in a tough region, uh, one of the fastest regions in the nation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we had seven boys and seven girls uh, compete there. Uh, then, you know, back on the wrestling, uh, Coach Menendez has done a great job with our wrestling program, specifically our girls this year finished seventh in the state. Uh, we had 10 boys and girls state qualifiers and then uh, two state medalists there and so overall from start to finish you know you start the year with cross country and football and volleyball in the fall and then you wind all the way down with basketball uh, into softball and baseball uh, just another excellent year here at Harker Heights. Yeah and some of those teams you mentioned that did not make the playoffs are in rebuilding years because all their kids graduated last year specifically the softball squad. Yeah, you know, so you've got a young programs, you know, talking about with our volleyball program. Volleyball, and, yeah. And, you know, you're replacing some key seniors that left two years ago, and now they're in the rebuilding mode. Uh, and just, you know, a couple things here and there that, that keep you out of the playoffs in volleyball and boys soccer and girls soccer, uh, where now those kids will now be experienced, you know, juniors and seniors and, and and those close games now turn into to wins that propel you into the playoffs. And so um, those programs are, are, are much on the rise also. You know, a lot of people think that, well, during the summer, they just let the football kids come up there and work out and they do all their stuff. No, all your programs work out during the summertime. They, they, this place is open to the kids when they want to come and, and do their workouts and, and make themselves better. Yeah, and it's a never-ending process. And so our coaches have done a great job, Dan, of stressing the importance of our summer program. Uh, not just about football. That's the misconception. It's just football. Yeah. It's all our sports here at high school. And our middle schoolers are incoming 7th graders and 8th graders. And so uh, there is no substitute for strength and speed. And what, what better time than to do it in June and July where you can spend uh, all your uh, focus and all your efforts on that alone without having to be bothered with anything. And so uh, all our sports work out uh, in the summer. Uh, our last session is our middle schooler, 7th and 8th. And so along with that, you know, that increase in speed and strength, it, it, great, it, it brings great unity, you know, for all our kids, uh, our student athletes, uh, all our programs to see each other uh, working together and working hard and all working for the same you know purpose and the same goals and to be doing it over the hottest months of June and July and so uh, it's a great opportunity in all our sports and all our athletes are involved in that so during the summertime they just need to go to your uh, to your huddle page or your what what page the, the kids need yeah, to go to they can go up. online and download the flyer and they can fill that out you right. know um, you know electronically or fill it out and, and send it in and that's all they got to do and, and the great thing about clean ISD is you know our summer program is free you yeah. know strength and conditioning is free for our seventh graders through twelfth graders so what a great opportunity you won't have to mow the yard if you go <laughs> work out <laughs> so uh, a great opportunity for our kids uh, and uh, our kids do a great job our coaches do a great job of being here dedication dedication it, it takes the a lot to, to the be top. great it takes takes a lot to be great and our kids realize that and our coaches realize that and so uh, it's uh, just kind of the, the tradition and the standard that's established here. Yeah and there's a man that wears a foam cow cowboy hat that lives up in the building up on the hill there. Yeah. Um, that man is unbelievable. Yeah. Um, your principal. Well, Dr. Soldevila is the number one Harker Heights Knights fan, there's no doubt. It doesn't matter if it's a band in fine arts or anything with athletics. Uh, he's a knight through and through, a number one fan, and, and it starts there. It starts with great administrative support. Uh, he supports our coaches, our kids, all our programs. He wants the, you know, the best for Harker Heights, and he wants the most success for every program and every kid at Harker Heights. And so starting there, it's great to work for a great principal, but there, there's no bigger fan, I don't think, than Dr. Soldevila no. of anything that deals with Harker Heights. I don't think there is. I really <laughs> don't think there is. But I tell you what, KISD in the past 10 to 15 years has come a long way doing bigger and better things with the athletics programs. I've seen them grow. I've seen more resources become available to y'all. I've seen better coaches coming in like y'all got in the past 10, 15 years. 
Uh, there's nothing but positive things going on for KISD right now. I know you're glad to be a part of it, glad to be back home and all that. And um, Your summer plans, are you going to get some rest time? I'm worried about Mark. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we'll take a week off here, you know, when we you know, in the school here, and that week we don't have kids on campus. We we'll take a week off in that July 4th when we don't have kids on campus, but uh, otherwise, you know, I'm here and Really, I'm blessed to be a part and come home. That was one of the draws and, and, and be a part of a great positive change. Uh, I am a clean ISD product. I take great pride in that. And like I've told uh, my parents and our kids, I, I see uh, myself and, and all of my friends and all of these kids every day. And so showing up every day, whether it's September, November, December, or June and July, you know, it's, it's not really work uh, to me. Uh, I wake up motivated. Uh, it's my purpose. It's my passion, and I just love being around our kids all the time. Uh, and so just super honored and blessed to be here and super honored and blessed to work with our kids and, and be in this district. And, and you hit the nail on the head. Uh, there's a lot of thing, great things going on and huge improvements uh, coming, uh, not only for the school district, but most importantly to benefit all our kids in mm-hmm. Queen ISD. So excited and, and honored to be here. Well, I'll be around, and anytime you need anything, you know, pick up the phone. I'll come up here and... If you've got a checkers game you want me to do play by yeah, play for, yeah. we'll do that. Well, Dan, Dan's also do. the hardest working man, so he does a great job. And we appreciate you, Dan, covering not just Harker Heights, but all events and all kids and clean ISD. So uh, you do a great job, especially with the hometown proud, you know, hashtag. And so uh, our kids love it, our parents love it, and I know our community loves it. So you're doing great things. I do it because I love it. Yeah. And I love you all. Well, so. appreciate it. We love you, Dan. Appreciate you. All right. And as we always say... Go Knights. Enjoy your summer. You are watching I-14 Sports Network.